Hey everybody, happy Saturday. I hope you guys are doing well this weekend. What are you getting up to? I will tell you something crazy that happened to me today. I got the kids up. I got them all ready for their Christmas pictures. I drive all the way from the valley to uptown only to find out that I made a mistake. And the pictures are tomorrow. So there's that. Anyone else ever do that or just me? <laughs> um, I wanted to pop on. Oh, for those of you that do not know me, my name is Brittany Budd. I am a leader, a coach, and a mentor. And I empower women to build confidence and create success so they can live the lifestyle of their dreams. My favorite. My favorite. <laughs> I love saying it. Um, this one is really geared towards like all you network marketers out there like me but it can it can go all across your life um and it's about protecting your tribe so for me i'm in premium skincare and one thing that we are often told is everybody has skin everyone is a candidate for our products absolutely 100 percent. i agree with that that does not mean that every person on the planet with skin is a really good candidate to be on my team and be in my tribe. Maybe you sell like luxury hair care. No, not everyone has hair, but the people that do have hair wash their hair. So you would hazard a guess that those people need to wash their hair and that you have a product for them. You probably do have a product for them, but that does not mean that every single person with hair is a good fit for your team and for your tribe. And it's okay to realize that and protect the family that you're building. And I really consider my team, like I, I talked about them earlier in the week, I consider my team like my family. These are my tribe. These are my high vibe people that I want to hang around with. These are my inner circle people. These are my go-getters. These are my jet setters. And it's okay to protect the environment that you are trying to create, especially when you're new. When you are new into network marketing, you are really excited. You are really amped up and you're just like, woo, you guys, I'm really excited about this. Like, join me, join me, join me. And some of us maybe get to a, a spot where we'll just take anyone to join our team because, you know, we want to get started and we're not really sure what, what the environment is, what the feeling is that we want in our team. And maybe someone says something that makes you feel a little weird or kind of do one of these. But you look past it and you think, well, they want to join me, so I want them. It's okay to turn people down from joining your tribe. And I know that, you know, it's exciting when someone wants to join you, but if someone makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable or a little bit yucky, or, you know, you look on their profile and they're talking a lot about politics and they have different views than you and, you know, maybe they're homophobic or maybe they're racist or like, I don't know, I'm, I'm making this up. But maybe they've got something on their profile that makes you feel a little bit yucky. Or maybe they say something in a conversation with you that makes you feel a little bit yucky. Like, ooh, well, I'm glad I don't have to hang out with that person in real life. You don't have to accept that into your online circle either. It's okay to tell someone, I don't think this is going to work out. I don't think we're, we're jiving. I don't think this is a fit for you. Maybe they are a great fit for the company, but that doesn't mean they're a great fit for your tribe and your team and your inner circle and the environment that you are wanting to create. And it's also okay to change your mind about someone. You know, I have had a few conversations with people that I've been like, man, I love this chick. She's awesome. She's a go-getter, whatever. And then, you know, a couple of days into the conversation, something is said that doesn't sit right with me a backhanded comment or a sarcastic joke or something at someone else's expense that I'm kind of like "Ooh, you were cool but I don't know if I want to let you in my circle 
it's okay to protect your circle, you guys. And I'm not sh like, like I said, this is mostly geared towards network marketers, but this is okay at life too. If you meet someone at work or you meet someone at church or you meet like a, someone at a mom's group and they don't make you feel okay, sometimes they say something that makes you feel a little bit yucky inside or makes you, you know, raise your eyebrow a little crazy. It's okay to distance yourself from those people. And if you've brought them into your group and then they've kind of made you feel yucky, it's okay to distance yourself from that. It's important. It's an act of self-love and self-care to protect yourself and your environment and how you feel. And it's not okay to allow someone to make you feel yucky. That's just not fun. You don't want to dread hanging around with the people in your group, in your circle, in your tribe. So be selective, you guys. And it's okay to change your mind about someone. It's okay to distance yourself. It's an act of self-love. It's an act of self-care to put yourself first and only have people that make you feel good be in your environment. So I hope you found that, my little guy. Hi. <laughs> They're outside playing in the leaves today. He's just coming in. I don't even know what he wants. He's headed back out. All right, you guys. If you found value in that comment share it tag a friend who maybe is new in network marketing and they could stand to hear this or tag yourself if you want to remember later all right you guys i hope you are having an amazing saturday don't forget actress jenna boyd who i met last month and got to put my arm around her and take a picture <laughs> she's with my company she's putting on an event and it started yesterday, it goes until tomorrow with a couple other ladies. So if you wanna check her out, she's going live, she's posting videos, she's posting pictures, she's chatting away. Let me know, I'll get you added. Lots of fun going on over there. And I have some personal giveaways. If you click going, I've got something for you. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I will talk to you all later.